Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are watching. This is Talk Tonight. I'm your host, Dan Smith. I was just getting ready for bed. And um, 20 minutes ago, we've, we've had a statement from Johnny Bond of, formerly, of Catfish and the Bottom. And, and after a video we put out a couple of days ago, just basically asking what's going on with the band. This is quite a significant update into that. Um, so I thought I'd bring it to you um, and just give my reaction on it. So I'm, I'll, I'll read the statement and um, room's looking a bit bare in the midst of a move out um, that's uh, happening on Friday. So please excuse the uh, <laughs> the use of the phone and stuff like that. So on Instagram, I've got hello there, folks. Understandably, a lot of you are upset, angry and wondering what is happening with Catfish especially given the recent news of the cancelled shows in Wales, of which was also news to me. I'd also like to take this opportunity to clarify my own situation amidst all of this. After much deliberation, I originally parted ways with the remaining band in March 2021. So it's been well over a year since, uh, since Johnny left, and we're only hearing about it now. Uh, same with Bob, who had to go uh, had, to, had to go onto Instagram and post it himself that he'd left the band as well. Uh, sorry, it's carry on. This was not a decision that was made lightly. Basically, I felt that I had no choice but to walk away because of my circumstances that were beyond because of circumstances that were beyond my control. It's a great shame to leave something I've treasured and that we have all put an enormous amount of love and sacrifice into. To put it simply. I feel that both the professional and personal relationships have become entirely dysfunctional and as well as behaviour constantly reoccurring that I found to be intoler intolerable as a band, we were not working in ways to which I agreed. You can read into that as much as you like. Um, jokes will be made about the re uh, behaviour reoccurring about all oh, that'll be uh, the music that they kept releasing that was just all the same, whatever. Um... It's quite damning on the band this to be honest. Like, you know, you, you as a as a fan say you always want your band to be best mate your favourite band to be best mates and you know, loving making music. This just shows you what the reality can be. In regards to the four summer shows last year, I stepped in at the last minute as a session musician as there was nobody else ready to do so. I've had no contact or affiliation of any sort with the remaining band members since then. That being um, Van McCann and who is left? Who's left in the band now? Um, my bad, I should know this. Should know this. Off the top of my head. Benji. So yeah, uh, on Wikipedia it's already been Change it up that the members is just Van McCann and Benji Blake where um very very strange situation. Anyways <clears throat> Where was I? Yeah. Neighbourhood Festival twenty one. I assumed that the band would address the fans from an official and broader point of view about the departure of two long-term band members, that being Bob and Johnny now, rather than I, as an individual, although as far as I am aware, this has not happened as of yet, he's correct. I've been receiving a large volume of direct contact seeking answers regarding the band's future and info about upcoming concerts, but unfortunately, I have none as I no longer have any affiliation with the band and haven't for some time. There's clearly been a big fallout. I certainly don't want this post to be entirely negative. I would also like to use this opportunity to give an overwhelmingly huge and deep heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for everything you have done for with the band. You have given me some incredible experiences that will stick with me forever and I have enormous love and respect for you all. Every person who waited outside for a chat, brought gifts, made mammoth long journeys to see us or just came along and made what we did possible with your passion and commitment in any shape or form. I sincerely appreciate you and feel incredibly, fortu incredibly fortunate to have experienced all of this together and met so many incredible people. I don't know if I cut out there. 
I found the breakdown of the band was unpleasant to say the least, but I am now raring to move on to something new and positive. Obviously some time has passed since my departure in, departure in March last year and in that time I've since been working on some new music. I'll be announcing details in the near future and would love to love for you all to hear it. Thank you so much one day and then you just posted a couple of pictures alongside that. So I think we can officially say Catfish and the Bottlemen are over. It's you know, speculation has been rife for months, for years now. And I feel like that is finally a little bit of closure. Um, it's obviously not coming directly from the band, but some damning statements and that, you know, about a massive fallout and the way things were being done, the behaviours within the band. Um, it's going to be interesting because, excuse me, after this, it is very safe to presume that reactions from the other guys will be coming shortly. Uh, we'll be covering it all. But yeah, um, initial. It's a shame. It's a shame about catfish. We all, we all grew up uh, in the last six or seven years. I think it even might be ten years since they got together. It'll be getting on for that. And. You know, they're, they're, when their first album came out, I'm sure. Like, many other people watching this were huge fans. Um, and, you know, for me, they're the band I've seen the most. And it's unlikely that will change. Because when I was going to gigs every other week, it was that time, you know, Catfish were bursting onto the scene. You had the likes of Blossoms, Last Shadow Puppets, Ron Tor, Circle Waves were about. And it's like... They'll, they'll have loved that time, and as fans, we did. It was always going to be difficult after this last couple of years of literally not speaking out about rumours circulating and in such a hard time not giving anything to fans. I feel like they lost a lot of people. And from this, you know, you've lost two members, two crucial members of the band. For Van to then attempt to carry on under that Catfish banner would just seem fake. And yeah, I, I I don't know where you stand. Get in the comments and let me know. But for me, it's over. It's done. Finished. Catfish. It's over, man. It's a shame. But the music scene, it will never die. New bands will come along. Bands will go. And we're just here for the ride. So there it is. Catfish. Johnny has released that statement. And it's there. Uh, it's quite interesting. I'm, I'm interested to see what's going to come in the next couple of days. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, leave us a like. Let us know what you think about Catfish breaking up or Johnny leaving the band. I'll see you next time. Take care.